Welcome to High Noon Wednesday. Woo! What's up, guys? Hey, next Thursday, 55 degrees. Next Friday, 57. You got a week and a half. We keep telling you, hang in there. It's coming. Spring's coming. How you doing today? Doing good. So this is a time and season where I think a lot of more people around you are maybe being Debbie Downers, and so you're kind of seeking for your own motivation. I think it, we need to be able to kind of accept that change. The weather's gonna change. Um, there's just a lot of things changing around us, and that's not a bad thing. I think it's good to mix things up, but just be ready for it. If you're a person who needs things to be a certain way, which is totally how I kind of work, I do really good in a routine, but that takes some preparation, you know, making sure that I have the groceries that I want to expect to wake up with, um, knowing my workouts ahead of time, and if I know it's gonna snow overnight, I don't wake up and, ooh, am I going to run? I just get up and no matter what, it might be slower, but I'm ready for that because I don't like change, maybe necessarily. Um, but be ready to adapt to that. Things are gonna constantly change and we just need to be ready for it, knowing that no matter what, no matter how much you dislike it, it's gonna happen. They said those are red racing tights and a muscle shirt. It's that time. The Hilltoppers, it's kicking off. Junior high, high school, cross country runners. June 3rd at 2 p.m. There's gonna be a barbecue, kind of a kickoff. All the information that you're gonna need, big get together. Uh, Tuesday, Thursday at night, and then a Saturday morning run is gonna kind of be the, the structure of it. Hills, dirt trails, different locations. So instead of just going, you know, three miles out on the road and coming back all the time, it's gonna be a different destination every time. Uh, fun, get together, uh, let's get it rolling. GPS, heart rate, activity tracker. We have a bunch of fancy ones down here, but one thing we'd like to educate each time we have a high noon Wednesday. And just one thing to know, as a coach, all the people that I have that have Garmin that use them on a regular basis, I'm getting updates every week or a couple times a week. Hey, new threshold notification for so-and-so. Hey, new threshold pace. Hey, new threshold heart rate. All those things. One thing we'd encourage you is to come in and, and maybe what we need to do is have some classes. But we want you to understand that you have to help your Garmin give you right data. And so you can assume that the heart rate zones that you're getting from your watch spit out at you are exactly the correct heart rates for you. So what we want to make sure you understand is that take control of the device that you have for you. There's heart rate. Know that heart rate strap versus wrist heart rate may read a little bit different. And so whichever one you're going to use, that's what you want to continue to use so you find some good values. And then understand that if I'm on my treadmill at my house and I'm running 11% incline like I'm going up Pikes Peak, my pace is quite a bit slower than normal with a heart rate that would be normal if I was outside running two minutes per mile faster on flat ground. And so my watch doesn't know that I'm running up that incline. Because of that, my watch might give me a new VO2 max uh, value, suggested value, that says that my VO2 max actually decreased when in reality it should have increased from a workout like that. And so be mindful that as you're getting all the tech data from your watches and from your technology that you use it and if you don't know how to use it ask someone else you know what they think there's some tutorials and stuff like that we even put on our blog a year or so ago how to find good heart rate zones for your runs and if you're someone that bikes know that your heart rate zones are usually 10 to 15 beats per minute lower on the bicycle for the same zone when you're running so hopefully that helps you a little bit just be mindful of all that stuff we love all the tech gear we got music in the new 645 it's really fun for people but make sure if you're going to buy it and spend the money on it you get one that you're really going to use and it's going to be useful for your training and again we always like you shopping local come in get one from us 
And when you get it from us, we'll help you set it up. If you have any issues, we'll help you figure it out. And we'll really try to make sure that it's worth it for you to buy local and appreciate you buying local.